Okay, last exercise for this lesson is career site creating structure. Okay, so this is going to be the start of your career profile website. You will be adding a little piece to this website in most of the following lessons. Your career profile website will highlight a career that you're interested in. It will include information about the job and steps to take to get there. Take a couple of minutes to decide which career you'd like to make a site about. Okay, so we're creating a site that highlights a career that we're interested in or that you're interested in, okay? And we're gonna add to this throughout the advanced HTML and CSS unit. So every single lesson, we're gonna add a little bit more to this career profile website. All right, so take a few minutes before you get started to think about a career you're interested in. This doesn't have to be something you know for sure you wanna do. This could be a chance or an opportunity to explore something that you might be interested in, okay? So for me personally, um, I've been teaching for a very long time and I'm relatively new to YouTube. I'm relatively new to this content creation platform and to just content creating in general. So I'm curious about this career. I'm going to be exploring that. And you guys can see as I build the web page in this, in this unit. Okay. So step one is building the skeleton. Okay. So we're going to start with the homepage. All right. We're going to give it a title. So the title should be the name of the career that the site's gonna be about, such as paleontology. So if this is the career you choose, this is gonna be the title of your project or website. Website. Okay, then we're gonna have a job info page. That page is gonna contain more detailed job information. We also wanna give it a title such as artist. Okay, so if you are career as artist, then this is going to be the title of your page. And then finally, we're going to add an external style sheet. From here on out, we're not going to be doing any more embedded style sheets. So all of our styling is going to be in an external sheet. This is useful for many reasons, which I'll talk about probably in a moment. Let's go over the instructions first. Okay, so step two is Let's add a few items of content. So in the home page, we want to have an H1 tag with the title. We want to have an H2 tag that basically describes what industry or general area of study our career falls into. A paragraph containing a few sentences about why you're interested in that career. Okay, so it's okay if you don't know much about it. We can just type what we do know and what we would like to learn about related to this to this career or this industry okay we're going to add a link to job info from the home page so the web pages are interconnected and then on the job info page kind of the same thing we want to have a h1 tag with a title an h3 tag or three h3 tags i'm sorry you want to have a description average salary employers and related careers and a link back to the home page okay quite a bit. All right. Step three is basically working on the style sheet. We're going to turn all of our H3 tags to uppercase. We're going to make all of the paragraphs right aligned and aerial, and we're going to give the body a very light background color. So we're going to avoid just all blank white. And then finally, we're going to have font size set to 16 and pixels, I'm sorry, 16 pixels and italic font style. All right. So here's an example using the paleontology career. Try to choose something different unless you're really interested in this. Um, I We're going to see a lot of information on this as we go, but this is definitely still an option if it's something you genuinely want to explore. All right, so let's go if you're ready to get started. Okay, so there was quite a bit there. Right now, our homepage is just some placeholder text. Remember, the exercise tab is where you want to be for a recap of everything we're working on. Okay, so let's start with the skeleton of the homepage, all right? We are going to give it a title. So the title of my is going to be content creator since I'm working on exploring that career here. Okay, we are going to give a title to the job info page. So this should be, oh, it could be the same. Okay, so your titles don't necessarily have to be different. The job info here, so this could be like content creator info, if you want to be a little more detailed. And then finally, in the style CSS, we want to add, oh, we want to link to the style CSS. So remember, that goes in the head of our document. Okay, I mentioned earlier, I wanted to talk about why this is important or effective having the external style sheets. So with the embedded style sheets that we were working on in the last unit, we had to embed the rules into the HTML page. And it works fine. 
it's great. However, when you have multiple web pages in a website, such as the one we're building now, you run into the issue of having to repeat yourself. So rather than having one style sheet like we're doing now and then linking it to all of our pages, if you went the embedded route, you would need to literally embed a style sheet into every single home page individually. And the problem or issue that you might run into in that case is you might need to make edits. Okay, so let's decide, let's say we decide that we don't want our font size to be 14 pixels on our body. We would need to go into every single embedded home page and basically tweak that individually. All right, so rather than having to edit three, four, or in this case, two separate embedded style sheets, we throw everything into this external style CSS and all of our style rules live in one place. We can make one edit and it will apply to the entire site all at once. So external style sheets are a great way to style web pages or websites that have multiple pages. The embedded style page or style sheet is the better option if your website's just gonna be one single static web page. All right, so if it's just one web page, Maybe you don't need an external file, you can embed it right in. But since this website includes multiple pages, we're gonna make we're gonna make things easier and just put up all put all of our style rules over in the style CSS. Okay. So that takes care of step one. We have everything linked, and now we're ready to move on to step two. So we're in step two, we're working on the home page. So we're gonna add the following items to the home page. In the home page, we wanna add a H1 tag that has the title of our site. So content creator. Okay. We also want to have an H2 tag that describes what industry or general area of study our career falls into. So I can say, for example, I can, I'll add more to this later, but for now, I'm just going to put the content creation falls into the media industry. Okay. You want to be a little bit more detailed. You can use um, external sites to research this career and tell me a little bit about the industry that it falls in. Okay. We also want to add a paragraph that contains a little information about why we're interested in this career. Okay. So I am new to content for online. more about all right so that's my reason okay this doesn't have to be uh, elaborate this could be something that you want to know or you're curious about for this industry or this job and you want to put that in a paragraph okay finally you want to add a link to the job info page okay so the job info page is going to hold information on that job so we can put that underneath our paragraph okay so that is going to be href tag equal to job info okay and I'll make sure in the description box for this exercise to link to some career resource, career exploration resources that you might want to use. Okay, so that's good for the homepage. Okay, we have a title. What industry falls into? Oh, why you're interested in it. And a link to the job information website. So that looks good so far. And then over in the job info site, we want to add in some information on the job. So let's go back to the exercise and make sure we're getting everything in there. So in job info, we want to also have a title. So this is going to be the information site. We want three H3 tags that have description. Average salary. Oh, sorry, I said three. You, you want four H3 tags. Um, employers. 
and related careers. Okay, we're not filling this all up now. We're going to do it as we go. So for now, we're just kind of setting up the structure. And then finally, a link back to the home page. We want all these pages to be interconnected so we can move around easier. All right, that's the beauty of links. It connects things together. That way, you don't need a million tabs open. You can just be all in one place. All right, so home is going to be that. And then finally, last but not least, we are going to... Oh, don't forget to run this so you can take a look at it. All right, so just the skeleton there. And then finally in the style sheet, we are going to have our style rules, okay? It says we are going to make all the H3 tags have a text transform. This is a new property. There's so many properties in CSS, okay? This is, again, something you don't want to, like, memorize. The more you use these, they just, be, they just become second nature, and you don't really have to uh, look them up anymore, but... I still have to look up a lot of properties, so don't worry if you do. Oh, we want to make all the paragraphs have a font family of Arial and right aligned. Okay, so that is text align property. I believe we've used this before, but we're going to set the value to right. All right, we're going to give the body a very light background color. Okay, so you may find this website useful for selecting colors. You can open that up in a new tab. All right, this kind of gives you um, a grid of different colors you can choose from. This is the W3 School site. I'm not going to talk about it now, but it's a great site with lots of really great tutorials for all these languages you see up here and much, much more. All right, you could scroll through and choose one. I'm just going to try to find something nice and light. Remember that we're going to have quite a lot of information, so you don't want anything that's, like, too distracting. All right, this looks pretty good. Let me just copy that. Powder blue. And we're going to put that in the body rule since we want the body to have that color. And make all of the links have a font size of 16 and font style of italics. So font size, 16 pixels. Font style, italics. All right, let's run that and see what our page looks like now. All right, cool. Got this powder blue background. Our paragraphs are right aligned. Font family set to Arial. Okay, I know this may not be the most visually pleasing, but for now we're just kind of practicing. And in your personal project, you can do a lot more customization and, and, and things like that with font family and color. Okay, so that is the home page, the job info page. All right, everything looks good so far. Okay, take your time with this. I know this is quite a bit. We're in the advanced unit now. Okay, so the exercises are going to be a little bit longer, a little bit more challenging, but still fun. Okay, so still have fun with this. You know, try to really choose a career that you're genuinely interested in. This will make the project a lot more fun to work on and just be an opportunity for you to knock out two birds with one stone, build the project and learn about a possible potential future career. I'm really excited to see what you guys build. Nice job, everyone.